Santos, come on. Lacey Santos. Placed into the danger zone. Oh, could be an opportunity here. What a goal, man. What a goal, man. What a goal, man. What a goal was for Lan. Hi guys, my name is Gaurav and you are watching FIFA again. So today we are going to review the Santos card. If you look at her pace, her pace looks decent. Shooting is also nice. Passing is good. Dribbling wise, she she looks decent. Physicality is also good. Defending wise, she is not that great. So that's why I have given her a hunter because I want to use her as an attacking kind of midfielder. Play style, she has got finesse plus play style. Uh, incisive pass, tiki taka, press pro win, player. And twitch step. So she has got the play styles which are required in the midfield. Press proven is there, passing uh, play styles are there, and she has got a finesse plus play style as well. Uh, then, if we look at her uh, position, she can play as a cam and a CM. Two, three star skill moves, four star weak foot, high medium work rate, five three height, controlled on a hunter. So, guys, we will be testing her out in a couple of games and then I'll be back with the review. And we're off for the second half. It goes to Perez. Santos. Good strength there. This to get back into it. It's in. Good goal by Forlan. Santos to Janetti. Good pass. Perez. Good pass. And the forward progress continues with a good ball. And not this time. Mordridge. Forlan. Santos made a run, but Forlan's pass was not that great there. In central defence, Mohamed Salah plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack. Must be... Good pass and a good finish called by Santos. And what a start they made. Options in the middle. Can't miss, surely. Oh, that's a good, good block. Otherwise, it was another goal scoring opportunity. Modric. Good interception by Van Dijk there. It's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Santos. Oh, she, she took it well, but uh, well, to keep the opposition at bay. didn't respond to the command of uh, me pressing the pass button. It got delayed. Modric. Santos, pass. Bro, that's a foul referee. Good pass. Time goes. Pass. Pass. I don't know, he's not getting fouls. Good attempt, but. Santos, come on. Lacey Santos. Placed into the danger zone. Oh, could be an opportunity here. What a goal, man. What a goal, man. What a goal, man. What a goal by Forlan. So guys, uh, after using DC Santos for three games, she scored one goal and provided a couple of uh, second assists as well in game. Uh, what I felt about this card guys, first of all, the height is an issue because if you are using her in the attacking positions, she will get bodied by the opponent's uh, center back because most of the people will be using Van Dijk Blanc right now and they, they will body her like easily. They were bodying her easily. 
she was good on the ball she was good on the ball but definitely not like uh, someone like atana bonmati or uh, uh, graham hansen she was not that great on the ball but she was good she was good for a squad 86 rated squad this card uh, was actually nice like if someone is building up a like new team and someone is new to the game then definitely she, uh, this this card will be a very nice option to have in your squad finishing wise uh, she was finishing her chances like uh, she got a couple of opportunities she scored one chance with the finish plus play style and finish plus play style was definitely visible in the game and uh, what i felt about this card one more thing i felt about this card guys her passing was actually nice like she was she was giving those well measured passes and weighted passes which was very nice in game this is what i felt about this card defensively she was not that great of course and uh, she was making those in behind runs continuously which was uh, very much noticeable in the game and uh, which helped a lot uh, which helped a lot in uh, like creating a couple of chances so all in all it is a decent card uh, is this a top tier uh, cam or a cm in the game definitely not guys you have better options right now but for a 86 rated squad this card is actually very nice and i would suggest just grind uh, this sbc like 86 rated squad is not that much and uh, you will be satisfied with the performance she will give in game just the height is an issue uh, even though her strength is 80 her height was a issue in the game like i i felt it uh, so that that is the review for lc santos guys if you enjoyed the video please like it if you haven't yet subscribed the channel please subscribe it and if i have uh, missed out on something about lisi santos uh, this current triple threat card or any other card in general in efc 24 please do mention in the comment section and if you have used this card what you feel about this card please do mention that as well in the comment section that's it for today guys thank you so much my name is gaurav you are watching a fast games bye peace don't forget to subscribe